Somebody's got to go different. Can't all go the same way. Kenseth went low in one. Here Changes comes. lanes. Here comes Kane on the outside. Just can't quite man it right there off of turn two. McMurray almost hit the wall exiting two and drops back. Yeah, he lost a lot of ground right there. Last time through three and four, though. Here they Kane come. goes to the bottom. Kane comes to the bottom. It's he gets a run. He's got a good run on him. Side by side of the line. Kenseth. Kenseth. Told you it'd be a Fomoko finish. Matt Kenseth wins the Subway 400. His eighth career win. One one hundredth of a second. Here they come to the line. Kane got such a runoff turn four. Woo, baby. There's wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here he comes on looking outside, looking outside. This is his move right here. He saved this. He saved the outside move if it'll work or not. Right there with Elliott Sadler, been the strongest through the middle of one and two. They're going to run up on the last car. Johnny Sauter, half a lap to go. And Casey Kane almost ran out of racetrack, exiting turn number two. He's got one more shot, boys. Oh, no, He's no, coming that, right that here. Lap car is going to cause it. Lap car is going to cause Elliott Sadler to box. I don't know, Darrell. I believe Elliott Sadler has shut the door high on him. He's going to shut the door high on him. Sadler had to look for Sauter. Here comes Kane. Oh, Sadler by half a car length. Woo. I thought that lap car was going to cost him the race. Here comes Bimbo looking on the inside. Dead even as they come to the white flag. Oh, hey, Casey Kane's not going. He's going to run hard on the outside. Bimbo, no, he's still Bimbo there. Gets loose. He's still there. Oh, oh, I'll tell you what. What a job both of those drivers did. That was impressive. The beginning of the day, we talked about how this track has earned a reputation for producing close finishes, and here comes another one. Greg Biffle and Casey Kane out of four. To the line for the checkers. And Casey Kane has to run. Kane wins. Wow. Get him in. Get him in, buddy. Cross the that is, that is a great job. Wow. I did not think Casey Kane could hold them off. Good, absolutely perfect. Casey Kane working the top groove, never giving up at all. He committed to the top of the racetrack. Leffler's got fresher tires, trying to make it work on the bottom. And Kane gets that big run off the corner off and just pulls away from him right there. And here he is. Leffler just giving it all he's got here off the bottom of the racetrack, trying to get up underneath. Can't make it. Can't make the pass. And still going for it. He hasn't quit. He's on the bottom, still digging. He's got one more corner to go. Can he get it done? Rudum is right on his tail. He gets him loose right there. Gets a little bit arrow loose. He picks it up. Runs out of room. Gets hit in the back from Rudum. The 38 left or misses the wall and still finishes second backwards across the line. Heck of a race. I think like you said, that 14 and that two, if they could hop, pop, possibly get hooked up here. And here comes Matt Kenseth. Help is on the way, Smoke, if you just uh, hang on to her. And all Casey Kane and that nine can do is just try to treat working back and forth between him. I think the low place is where he needs to be as long as they don't get the run on the high side. Looking back from the leader, Casey Kane. Here comes this, Here comes 14 on the outside. And Got he's going to get a shot from Montoya. Watch him through three and four on the high that, side here. That's all it took right there, just that extra little boost. That two Chevys hooked up. Here we come. Slingshotted. Tony Stewart right alongside Casey Kane. Looks like the uh, looks like the first race. The man on the inside won the first one. Let's see what happens here. All right, who's going to make the Daytona 500? I believe Stewart. Now Kane's fighting back. It's Kane, Kane I believe. Got it. Kane, Casey Kane. By about another inch. First Daytona win of any kind for Casey Kane. One lap to go in segment three. Earnhardt two and a half back, Allmendinger five, Ambrose six, and Gordon six back of the lead. It's going to be one more dive right here. Last chance for Kane to grab that front four spot for segment three. And Kozlowski hugs the bottom. But here comes that five car off the corner. He's going to get a look under him as they come down here to the line with one to go. He got Whoa. him. He got him. He did the get board him. flips to Kane. He timed it perfect, coming off four, back to the line. He got that big run off of two, and he was able to make another big run off of four and well, made the pass. We'll have to wait and see. NASCAR will review it at the line because our scoring changed because of the positions after the start-finish line. 
Let's see. So let's have a look. Let's see what happened here. Come on, boys. At the line to complete segment three, Keslowski. Yeah. By yeah. inches. Another close finish. One more mile around Bristol. Might have just given up his chance there. He, he might get one more shot at his bumper here. Go ahead, you're gonna take contact to make this pass. You're not just gonna pass Kenseth. They come to the white flag. The last lap at Bristol. Kenseth and Kane, who wins flag, it? Bud. He's there. Can he get to him? Not By the corner. Here's the bump. No, nope, he missed it. Matt Kenseth is going to hang on and win the night race at Bristol. 18 cars in that lead draft, not counting those a lap down. And out of those 18, 15 about to earn a starting spot in the 500. Boy, it's it's tight right back in there. That is tight. Look at the run, though, that Cole Witten, that 26 car got. That moves him into the top 15. Along with Kligerman and Patrick. They have moved up. Nobody has had anything for Matt Kenseth. His Joe Gibbs Racing Toyota is going to try to hold off Kevin Harvick. Where did he come from? How about that 98 of Josh Wise up in the thick of things right here, boys? Harvick to the inside. Kenseth outside. Kenseth by a foot and a half in a three wide finish. Looked like 1959 all over again. Three wide at the start finish line. Look at this. Harvick makes the move. He gets that side draft up there on uh, Matt Kenseth. And here comes Casey Kane. Wow. Do they have enough fuel to get back? Final lap of Daytona is underway. Forty-two is on your tight. Yep, twenty-two is closer. Joey Logano getting the run on Regan Smith. Here comes Casey Kane to the five. Ryan Sieg in that 39 car up through the middle. Jeremy Clements into the picture. All going on behind Regan Smith. Can he hang on? Will the fuel last to the finish line? Here they come to the checkers. Casey Kane on the outside lane. Three wide to the win at Daytona. That was incredible. How did he do that? Unbelievable, the move that he made right there. Matt Crafton working that outside lane. I'm not sure there wasn't a little contact there. Kane on the inside trying to make the pass for the lead. Off the of turn four, they'll see the white flag this time by. We're side by side coming to the right. It doesn't get any better than this in NASCAR. Final lap. Next, next flag ends it. Whether it be the caution or the checker, advantage Casey Kane into one. Eric Jones stays right there, right in this quarter panel. They're dead even off a of two. This is intense. Those guys want it so bad. Who's going to have the advantage? Kane eking out in front as they come off of turn four. Jones trying to power to the outside. Here they come, back to the start finish line. It's going to be a photo finish, sliding sideways at the line. Casey Kane wins it in Charlotte, and a huge crash behind him. How's the first? I haven't heard from NASCAR yet. By one thousandth of a second, Casey Kane sideways gets the victory. Wow, what a finish. Unbelievable.